Hello, it's me, Ghost Critic. Welcome, my comic book friends. A uh, new comic book day has landed. I just got back from my comic book store, cried in the corner for a little bit because I spent a lot of money. Uh, it was a big week on my pull list, partially because I should have had a book that I missed out last week and I thought I'd try a second issue of something that I picked up previously um, and perhaps try uh, uh, and decide if I'm going to put it on my pull list or not. You'll see them very soon. Um, what's been going on? I didn't put a video up last Friday. Uh, very busy, busy, busy. Um, Sunday, comic book review video. Thank you for watching. Um, last new comic book day video um, kind of shook me a little. Um, I got lots of views, uh, much more than uh, most uh, of my uh, comic book pull list videos. So if someone out there shared my video somewhere or other and that's where I got my extra traffic from, I want to say thank you very much. Um, I've certainly had uh, kind of a, a few Kind of drips and drabs but on a regular kind of basis of new subscribers i want to say to you all out there thank you for joining my channel um, please comment down there in in the comment box uh, and say hello say how you found me uh, what you read all that good stuff and just like join in with the banter um, that goes on down there and of course as always if you're not yet subscribed and you want to see more of my videos please hit the subscribe button Give this video a big thumbs up and just chat down in the comment box. I'll eventually get round to replying to you. I'm pretty quick at it. So, and of course, share it over your social media sites if you wish. It would be very um, gratefully accepted. Uh, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. Um, and spread the good positive word that goes on on my channel. Um, this Friday, fingers crossed, because it is the last Friday of the month, will be my kind of monthly pop culture roundup. Um, all the things that are not particularly comic book related that I've been doing over the month. And I'm doing something slightly different this month, um, but hopefully you'll all still enjoy it. So look out for that. 12 books. Let's get on with it. Exile Man of War from um, Valiant Comics, issue number 14. Um, this uh, particular storyline is entitled The Return. And I think he's going back to, is it Earth rather than Earth, uh, which he's been on. Um, yeah, he's done everything he can do on this planet and he's going back home I guess but with that knowledge of you know he's accepted the uh, the armor now um, that it's a gift that it's given him these kind of I guess powers or you know extra abilities um, and he should use it rather than hide away on a planet uh, because wherever he goes war or battles or violence always seems to to follow him and he gets involved but love this uh, Matt Kent's been doing a great job we've got new artist Ariel Olivetti um, let's have a quick quick look through and and we are kind of back to that more my um, appreciation of that kind of painted uh, style that um, not the preceding artist, but all the artists preceding, um, I think it was, was it Braithwaite, uh, had been doing on this book, which I really liked. On to the Image Comics this week, issue 18 of uh, Brubaker, Phillips and Bright Vices, Kill or Be Killed. Um, absolutely love this book. Twists and turns galore. Just when you think you know what is going on, once you've got it straight in your head, Brubaker flips 
interrupts the story and you're lost and confused once again but in such a good way um i believe i think someone told me last time this is soon to end despite the fact he did say this was going to be an ongoing but it is coming to an end very soon and i'm happy with that it's like a lot of the books that i'm getting at the moment that yes i am sad that they are ending i would prefer them to go out now on the high that they are rather than just kind of trudge on doing the same old thing um so i can't wait to start reading that one <clears throat> issue 51 of saga um i wouldn't be these seem to have come out quite regularly um over the past few months so i'm guessing it's due for a, a hiatus um i i talked about this before i just i don't know with saga anymore i don't know whether i'm just buying it now out of some misguided loyalty because I've been there from the very beginning uh, and kind of really championed this book and it well deserved that championing uh, right at the very beginning because it was it was just so different from everything else that was on the shelves uh, back when this first came out and it was like a breath of fresh air especially for Image and it kind of kicked off the whole um, Image franchise People might say it was Walking Dead, I say it was Saga, um, and then you had a slew of new number ones, um, pretty much every week there seemed to be a new number one, uh, and kind of really rejuvenated um, Images uh, catalogue of uh, books that they put out. We'll see. <coughs> it, it's, honestly, it's kind of teetering now, um, who knows, but... I don't know what to say anymore. Um, another one from Image, final one from Image this week. It is The Beef, issue number three. Um, <clears throat> as always, dig Shaky Kane's artwork. Um, on the back, you've got a kind of, I guess you, that's a bit, I don't know whether that's um, kind of like late 60s, early 70s, kind of a homage cover. I don't know what I feel about it. I mean, it's only a limited series, so I don't mind picking up the rest of these because I love Shaky Kane's style uh, of art on this um, and on previous works. But the story, I just don't really know what it's trying to say. Um, it's picking out some like big topical uh, conversations that are going on right now um, last issue very heavily influenced by kind of the immigration talk that goes on <clears throat> um, but then I mean I don't know what it's like for everyone else but my Facebook feed at the moment seems to be um, bombarded with vegans at the moment and, and I have no interest you can do your vegan thing if you want I'm quite happy for you to go around that no amount of photographs of how the animals are killed are going to put me off eating meat I'm sorry that's just it I am a meat eater I will not change um, it is not bad for me uh, in moderation um, I will add uh, but it, it feels a little preachy at times uh, rather than just an enjoyable comic book to read which you know it's fine there are comic books out like out there like that um, that want to say something um, and if Shaky Kane had not been on this I probably wouldn't have picked this up so Shaky Kane is um, the saviour of this book for me uh, there were a lot of Marvel books on my pull list this week, um, mostly because um, uh, Doctor Strange, uh, the miniseries Damnation and the regular um, series of Doctor Strange came out on the same week and they don't normally do that. Um, so we have issue four of Damnation, which I believe is the final part. I'm not going to look. I'm sure it's a full part miniseries. Um, Love, have loved, loved, loved this crossover. This and uh, Doctor Strange issue number 389. Um, Donny Cates just doing some great work. I'll be sad to see him go on this. I believe after his run on Doctor Strange, they're kind of, they're restarting it basically with an issue one. Um, and I believe he goes into space to find a new source of magic. Ah, 
I don't know how to feel about that. Um, but at least uh, the books get to go out on a high with uh, great Donny Cates storytelling. Uh, this was the book that I try and uh, have a go at issue two. Um, it was Exiles. Um, this issue, uh, the debut of Valkyrie. Um, someone told me, I think, I can't remember who it was now, but when I picked up issue one and I said I didn't know who this character was off the cover of issue one, um, someone said it was Valkyrie from the Thor movie. Now... I don't like that. I don't like that. Stop trying to make the movies, oh, rather the comics into the movies. They're a separate entity. Um, you can fiddle around with the movies all you like. I don't care. But I don't want that cross-pollination of the movies into the comics. No. No. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see if that fits in and it's all true fact. The other reason I wanted to buy this was because we will see the appearance of this silly little kind of Wolverine baby cartoon character and I want to see how that fits into this story. Um, I don't know how many of you read Judd Winnick's um, original run on The Exiles but by issue two he'd already killed off one of the team. So <clears throat> hopefully Next issue, they might kill off this this baby Wolverine character, um, and we can we can continue on. Maybe it will be kind of a, a tribute sort of homage to the original series, uh, and this is just um, this is just um, Ahmed, uh, what's his name, Saladin Ahmed, just having a little bit of a joke. He's hoping. Um, X Men Blue from Colin Bunn, issue number twenty six, um, Sentinels. I can't, oh, we're still on the Cry Havoc storyline. So this, um, what happened in the last issue, um, <coughs> oh, Magneto against um, uh, the bad guys, uh, Bastion, uh, Ms. Sinister, Emma White and Havoc, uh, Emma White, Emma White, Emma Frost, sorry, Emma Frost and uh, Havoc are goodies, baddies, double agents, still haven't quite got a handle on this, um, but it's fun, it's a fun X book, uh, nothing too heavy or, or nothing too simple about it, just kind of in the middle. Um, Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man, uh, another part of the amazing fantasy storyline. I think this is the last part of this storyline where they've gone back in time uh, to find out, you know, where the Tinkerer got all his plans from for this alien invasion that's happening in our present, which they don't seem to have been doing a great deal of. They just seem to be mucking up the timeline that um, they're in at the moment, despite the fact that Doom has already said it doesn't matter what they do, uh, it won't affect the present, which I think is just baloney. Uh, but perhaps that was Doom being an arse uh, and things will change. We'll find out from Chips and Uh Finally, for Marvel, uh, Moon Knight, issue number 194. Um, finally, we get a new storyline. Uh, this is the first, the second uh, story arc from uh, Max Bemis, who's taken over uh, the reigns of Moon Knight. Uh, we've got a be lovely Becky Cloonan cover on the front there. Uh, new artist, Ty Templeton. <coughs> we'll have a quick little... A brief look at that. It looks very much your standard comic book art. Uh, nothing that really at the moment like uh, you know astounds me but we'll um, we'll continue on with this book because I really like the Moon Knight character. Finally final two books from DC uh, issue number 45 of The Flash uh, we've just finished um, the Perfect Storm storyline and now we're after the storm and if this cover is to be believed and it's not been for the past few covers um, Iris is going to find out about Wally West um, <clears throat> again this is all kind of building up I'm guessing to issue number 50 with uh, the Flash War 
that's that's fast approaching that's gonna I guess break up and bring together again the whole of the Flash family uh, we'll see but enjoying the Flash and finally this was oh, should have been on my pull list last week but got missed off it's um, <coughs> Kurt Busiek's Batman uh, Creature of the Night uh, with Jean-Paul Leon on art which is just uh, gorgeous um, it's kind of I don't know if this is a, a kind of Elseworlds story but it's kind of it's true kind of Kurt storytelling, uh, you know, the, the superhero scene from the eyes of, you know, this young boy, this teenager, well, obviously seeing him grow uh, and the, um, the lure of this Batman persona because it's quite a demonic look for this Batman that we've got in here uh, but we all see it from the young man's point of view which Kurt does so well um, so I'm looking forward to uh, grabbing um, a seat uh, and diving into this and that's a lot of books for me to be reading before Sunday for a new comic book review video um, I will do my best uh, I'm sure I'll do it and um, I'll try and keep that video as short as possible um, otherwise it'll be uploading for hours and I will be quiet now because this video has gone on long enough too. Thank you all for watching, don't forget to sub, like and comment and I will see you very very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.